I got three reasons why you're single. A lot of men think that they just single because the other people just suck. No, I got three reasons why you as a man, you're still single. And it can apply to you as a woman too. If you want to know why you're single, stick around. Because I got three reasons to show you why you're still single. And if you happen to fall in one of these three reasons, stick to the end of the video because I got something to say to you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast. I'm your boy, LAC. I'm happy you're here with me. Let's get it. I don't know how old you are right now. Maybe you are in your late 20s, mid 20s, late 30s, early 30s. Maybe you're even in your 40s, but you happen to be single. You get into relationships, they don't last. People just get tired and move on. That's what you think. You feel like you give your best. You feel like you put everything on the line and you feel like you put all your eggs in, in one basket. But somehow, some way, people just never seem to stick around. My brother, are you sure? Are you sure it's those people? Are you sure? I don't think you understand. Are you sure it's not you? You know, sometimes I got to bring out my, my African side so you guys can understand the severity of this situation. I know exactly why you're single. I'm looking exactly at you. I'm looking right at you and I can tell you why you're single. You ready? Grab a pen and paper. I'm going to wait a little bit. You got it? Okay. Or open your phone app and take some notes because this is going to help you win in life not only in your relationship, but also in everything. Number one, you ready? Why you might be single, the main reason, number one, is you don't know how to compromise. You always gotta have it your way. And this ain't Burger King, honey. Brother, you don't know how to compromise. And you know one thing I've learned about relationships? Compromise is essential. Just like brushing your teeth in the morning and flossing is essential for a healthy oral hygiene, so is compromise in relationships. I'm gonna give you an example of what compromise is. Compromise is pretty much when one person wants to do thing one way and the other person wants to do something another way and you meet in the middle. For example, I say to my, my partner or I say to my wife, I wanna buy five apples from the grocery store. She looks at me and says, we only need two. Well, what's a compromise for the both of us? The compromise is we're gonna meet in the middle. Three apples, that's a healthy compromise. I don't get five apples, she doesn't get two, but we get three, it's still a healthy compromise. And some of you don't know how to compromise because it's always about you, and if you don't have it your way, then it's the highway. Reason number two that you are still single. You writing down? You ready? You ready for this one? This one is a huge one. You're prideful. One of the reasons Satan was kicked out of heaven was because of his pride. So you are prideful. Listen to me. Pride goes before destruction. So if you, if you, <laughs> I'm going to say this. If you want your relationship to always fail, whether it's business, professional, social relationships, whatever it is, if you want them to always fail and hit the fan and burn bridges, be somebody that's prideful. In other words, don't take correction, don't listen, don't be willing to talk things out. Only do what you feel is right and how you feel. Go based off that only. That's how you ruin relationships. Some of us as men, we think we got it all together. We think we're the it. We're the it factor, right? And so we don't even know how to humble ourselves and say, I'm sorry. When was the last time you as a brother said, I'm sorry? And trust me, you don't have to be wrong in order to say I'm sorry. You can still be in the right and apologize. Humility goes far. Pride will ruin you. Pride will disqualify you quicker than anything else. So your relationships ain't working out. Could be one of those two things. First, you don't know how to compromise. It's always about you. Second, you're prideful. You can't take correction. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't try to work things out. You don't humble yourself. You don't apologize. And you always go based on how you feel. Now, this next one is crazy. And if you're being honest with yourself, you see this a lot. The third one is the reason why you might still be single as a man is you just don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to share your feelings. You don't know how to express yourself. You don't know how to talk to your partner, your significant other. Imagine being married to somebody and whenever they're going through something, they don't talk to you or tell you about it. You gotta go fish for what they're feeling and then they expect you to read their mind. As a man, you have to be so well informed in your own emotional stability. You have to be mentally and emotionally mature to communicate. Communication goes a long, long way. and women respect men who communicate. You as a godly man have to abide in these three examples. Your pride has to go. We're to humble ourselves. You want a wife and you're prideful? Stay single, brother. You want a wife and you can't communicate? Stay single. You want a wife and you can't compromise? You, my friend, should stay single. Ain't no reason for you to try to work things out with somebody and try to get into a relationship because if you cannot control your pride and be humble. If you cannot learn how to communicate your feelings, your emotions in a respectful manner 
and get into a place where you learn how to compromise, brother, stay single. Get yourself in order before you start putting yourself in a position to get into a relationship. You understand? Thank you for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And if this video did anything for you, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you when I see you.